All right, this is the application that we created a couple of videos ago, and we are basically creating this application. This is a class provided by the Oak framework, the same with this one, the router. And we created a couple of endpoints to create new elements and to get the list of existing elements. In this case, we are using bands. We defined this type here with a name, a genre, and a website. Okay, and we also created this depths file where we store all the dependencies and the URL where these dependencies are located. In this case, we are using the UID library from the standard library of Theno. And here we are importing the Oak framework from this URL. And also here we are accessing the environment variables, actually this variable to set the port where the application is going to listen. Okay, so now let's create a Docker file so that we can create an image and then we can generate a container to run our application. So I'm going to create a new file, Docker file. And here we have a few options. So we can use this Alpine Deno, we can use CentOS Deno, we can use Debian Deno, or we can use Ubuntu Deno. In our case, we are going to use this one. So I'm going to copy this. And here I'm going to add here an import sentence and the base image will be this one. Then we need to set the working directory in the container. So this is work there. And the path, let's say slash app. And it is recommended to use a different user from root. So we are going to set a user. This will be user and let's say Deno. The next step will be caching the dependencies. So in Deno, we don't have a folder like in Node. In Deno, we cache the dependencies into a central directory. And so first, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the depths file from our file system to the image file system. And then we're going to use the Deno CLI to cache the dependencies. So this will be copy and the source will be depths.ts and the destination will be the container. And the next step will be running the deno command line interface and we're going to use the cache command. So this will be deno cache and we are going to pass the depth file, depths.ts. Okay, the next step will be adding all the files of the application. So we're going to use the add command and we're going to use dot to copy all the files from the local file system and dot to copy all those files into the container. And after that, we are going to also run the Deno CLI again. So we cache the main file of the application, the server.ts file. So we're going to run, run Deno cache, and we pass server.ts. And another thing that we can do here is we can pass some arguments. In our case, we are accessing this port environment variable, so we can assign that value here. So here we can say arg, and the name will be port. And here we can assign a default value. We can say 4,000, for example. Then we need to specify to actually allow to that we are going to actually allow to from the container. So this will be expose, expose, and this will be port using dollar sign like this. And then we need to specify what will be the command that is going to be executed once the container is running. So we CMD and here we need to pass an array with the different commands that we are going to use. So in this case, we're going to use run. So we can use run here because this base image already includes Deno. So the next command will be a parameter. In our case, allow net. It will allow us to expose this API. The next command will be allow m because we are accessing environment variables. So this is dash dash allow n. And finally, the main file of the application that is server.ts. 
Okay, now before we build the image using this Docker file, another important thing to mention is that in this line, line 14, we are not just caching the main file, but we are actually compiling the main application so that now it doesn't need to be recompiled again. Okay, now let's build our image. So as you can see here, we have this argument. So we need to pass this argument when we build the image. So this will be docker build. And we need to pass this argument. So this is dash dash build arg. And we pass port. And we can assign a value here. Let's say 8080. And then we can tag using app for example, run this, and it's going to download the base image, it's going to download all the dependencies, it's going to compile and cache the main application file, and it's going to assign the command and the arguments. Okay, let's clean this up, and if we run docker, docker images, we, we're going to see that we have our image here, so we can run it, we can use docker, run, we can pass an environment variable with dash E. And here we can say port equals 8080. We can map the local port with the container port. So we can use minus P. This is 8080, 8080. And we set what is the image that we want to run that in our case is up. Okay, now our application is up and running. Let's quickly review what is doing this application. Basically, we are going to call one endpoint that returns the list of bands. We have these three bands, Metallica, Ramones, and Maroon 5. And if we go to Postman and we run this operation, we should get the list of bands, as we can see here. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a comment below and like this video. And I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.